Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my whole entire Chanel handbag collection video to share with you. I thought this may be the perfect time for me to do this video because I'm pretty content with my Chanel handbag collection as it stands at the moment. I did buy a brand new Chanel bag last week and I did an unboxing video for that one as well. So if you do want to check it out, I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description box. But I'm thinking this may be the last Chanel bag for a little while now because I am really content with my collection at the moment. I think I have a good variety of different sizes and colors and bags for different occasions. So I'm thinking unless something amazing comes along, I don't think I'll be adding another Chanel bag for a little while. But if you do feel like there is something missing in my collection or if you think there's something is redundant in my collection I'd love to know your opinions so do let me know in the comments below I'd love to know what you think about my collection and what you think I could add or subtract and if you're new to my channel welcome I am so glad you're here my name is Isabel and I do new videos every week relating to fashion and luxury items so if this is something that you like as well I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel by just you know pressing on that red subscribe button down below I'd love to have you back and if you do end up liking this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. So I've been collecting Chanel handbags for about four years now. My very first Chanel handbag that I bought was back in 2014 and at that time I thought I'd just buy one Chanel handbag because they're so pricey and I thought you know I'm really gonna think about this purchase and once I decide on a bag I'm gonna get that one and that's going to be it. That is going to be my holy grail bag in my collection that's gonna complete my designer handbag collection and I'm gonna be good with that. But if you guys do collect handbags out there like me you do know that it is a slippery slope so you think that you're just going to be happy with one but you know that once you start buying something it can get a little bit addictive so I ended up buying a few more but I am really really happy with my collection now so that's enough rambling let me get started with my collection now so I am going to go in time order so I'm gonna go from the very first bag I purchased up until the very last bag I purchased I just think that it makes a lot of sense and it becomes a bit of a story because each handbag that I added to my collection I can sort of share with you why I added that one at that point in time and you can really see how this collection came to be. So the very first bag that started my collection is this beautiful classic flap in the jumbo size in the color black with gold hardware and mine is in the caviar leather. So when I first started researching on which Chanel bag to buy, like I mentioned before, I really thought I was only gonna have one Chanel bag in my whole entire handbag collection. So I really wanted to make sure that it is the perfect purchase for me. So I considered a few different factors. First of all, I wanted it to be a very classic design. Second of all, I wanted it to be a versatile color, which I mean, the black goes with everything. Black just looks good with everything. And third of all, I wanted it to be a very versatile sort of bag where you can use it for a lot of different occasions. And lastly, I wanted it to be a very durable bag so I can keep it in my collection for a really long time and with the bag still looking really pristine down the track. So when I considered all of those factors, I just thought this was the most perfect bag. So I just think that the black with the gold is the most timeless classic combination. That's what I think. I absolutely love gold hardware. I am getting more into silver lately and I do love the fresh look of the silver but at the time I thought if I'm gonna have one bag I want it to be a very 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 classic bag and I just think the gold hardware is just the most classic hardware color. In terms of the size, I did debate whether I should get the jumbo or the medium large. And I did mention the versatility before. I wanted a bag that I could use from day to night. And I do know that the medium large size would have been better suited for the nighttime, but the jumbo would be better suited for the daytime. But for my lifestyle, I do have a lot more day commitments and day outings than evening events. So for me personally, I I thought the jumbo would be a better investment because I will get more use out of it. So I think obviously it's a very perfect day, but it does fit quite a bit. It is a double flap. So, you know, people do say the single flaps, the ones that don't have the second flap, 
do fit more but for my lifestyle the double flap still packs a punch so it does fit enough for me I do still use this bag in the evening as well I think a lot of people think that the jumbo size is a little bit too big for nighttime use but in my opinion unless you're going to a black tie event or out to a club or something which I don't really go out clubbing that much anymore and uh, I don't attend a lot of black tie events because I do work in the healthcare sector and we're just not very glamorous there so uh, we don't have a lot of functions or uh, that sort of thing probably the biggest event of the year would be Christmas parties so when I consider my lifestyle I thought the most dressy occasion that I would commonly come across would be going out to nice dinners and for that purpose I think the jumbo is still perfect although it is a little bit of a bigger size because it has a really dressy silhouette and a really classic look and the gorgeous chain detail I think that it is more than perfect for evenings out. So moving along to the second bag that I purchased in my collection. It is another classic flap, but this time in a smaller size. This is a medium large size and I got it in the color beige clair. It again has the gold hardware. It is still my favorite hardware of choice and it is in the pebbled caviar leather again. So I purchased this bag not too long after the jumbo. So with the jumbo, I did have some birthday money saved up. So this was the first bag that I purchased with, you know, literally my own money. Soon after I bought the jumbo, I kept finding myself watching YouTube videos on different reviews on Chanel bags and I kept seeing this beige clear color. At the time, it was really difficult to get this color. There was rumor that they're going to discontinue this color. So when I saw it in the boutique one day and tried it on, I absolutely fell in love with the color. It is such a classy ladylike color. And in this size, it is just so dressy and beautiful. So I felt like a real lady when I tried this in the store. So this bag, I haven't used too much because it is a little bit tricky to match colors with this bag but when I do use it I absolutely love it so there are a few go-to outfits that I actually pair this bag with if you have the same trouble as me and find it a little bit difficult to match this color with your outfits I have come up with a few different outfits that I absolutely love pairing this bag with so do let me know if you want me to do a styling video on this color because I know it's a bit of a tricky color to pull off it's exactly the same construction as the jumbo bag so you've got the back pocket there it's just in the smaller size and I've used it a few times but it still looks brand new and again I store the chain inside the bag and I have some tissue paper to stuff the bag so it doesn't lose its structure yeah so this is the most ladylike bag in my collection and I think I'll definitely be able to use this um, as I get older as well so at this point I was quite content with my collection so I thought and then this is when I started getting into Instagram after I bought the beige Claire bag. So I kept seeing these mini flaps and I just became so obsessed with mini flaps. So this is probably going into 2016. I actively started looking for a mini bag. So the third purchase I've made is this square mini bag in the chevron quilting, which I absolutely love chevron in the color black and it is caviar leather but this caviar leather the pebbles are much smaller and finer and it's actually quite shiny at this time i went with the silver hardware so because both of my chanel bags at this point had gold hardware and black with silver it just was quite fresh when i looked at it i clearly remember when i purchased this bag because it was a bit of a reward to myself. I have finished university and then I actually did a two year course on how to put braces on, um, on people to straighten their teeth. And it was quite a full on course and I still worked full time and then I studied and then there was, you know, case presentations and exams to pass this course and I actually finished that course and I really wanted to reward myself with something for all the hard work so you know when you're working full time and you go home and you still have to study anyway so I thought I did quite well with balancing all of that out and when I saw this bag I thought you know this will be the perfect item to reward myself with at this point I hadn't bought a handbag probably for about a year or so so yeah I absolutely thought let me reward myself so this square mini is just so cute it is a really good size 
uh, for the evening but because of the silver hardware I do wear this a little bit more casually all the mini flaps are actually single flap so they do fit more than you think because they're really really small bags but they do fit quite a bit there's not much organizational features to the bag because it is so small but it does have a slip pocket and a zipper pocket so that helps and I really really love the chain drop on this square mini I am more on the petite side. I'm 164 centimeters tall. So when I compare this one with the rectangular mini, I do like the chain drop of the square mini better. It is such a perfect length for a shoulder bag to be worn off one shoulder. So that is why I opted for the square mini um, as my first mini bag. And then the next bag I added to my collection was actually not this one. But I exchanged that bag for this item. I was actually on a wait list for a wallet on chain in the black with gold hardware. And I got a phone call from my sales associate at the time. She doesn't work at Chanel anymore. But she gave me a call and she said that they got the wallet on chains in stock now. So I went in and I loved the look of it and I bought it. And then the week later, I get a phone call from another sales associate from another boutique. And she sent me a photo of this one. And I thought... I already have the chevron mini in the square and this is going to be way too similar so I thought oh, I'm just gonna keep the wallet on chain because I recently just bought it and um, at least I'll have a wallet on chain and a square mini and then I slept on it but the next morning I woke up and I thought let me just try to fit my items into the wallet on chain and see if I really like it and for me personally, the wallet on chain was just way too small to fit all my daily essentials. And what really got to me was the closure on the wallet on chain is not like the CC turn lock, but it is actually a stud closure, snap stud closure. So I actually found it quite frustrating to actually close the flap of the wallet on chain. So I thought, you know, I'm probably not going to fully enjoy the wallet on chain. So let me go in and check this one out. So I brought the wallet on chain in and I went in to check this one out. And when I looked at them side by side, I just love the mini a lot more. And I absolutely fell in love with the lambskin. So up until this point, all my bags were in the caviar leather. And when I felt this lambskin, I just thought, oh my gosh, this is just so soft and luxurious. And because it is a small bag, I thought I'd be able to manage the lambskin better. And I'd be able to keep it pristine and look after it properly. So I made the exchange. I think the price difference was about $700. So from memory, I think the wallet on chain at that point, which was in 20 2015 was 2700 or so and this mini was 3500 I'd say so the price difference was there but I thought for extra $700 or so you get a lot more features and the chain's thicker and more substantial and I just thought it fits a lot more I'll be able to use it more and with this mini I actually do use it in the evening a lot because it is in the lambskin which is a lot more luxurious and dressy and it is that small size so I find it quite appropriate with all my evening outfits so I have carried this out to Christmas parties and things like that so this is actually my go-to evening bag at the moment so the next bag that I added to my collection is this boy bag for the longest time I was such a die-hard classic girl and I only liked the classic flaps and I didn't like this at all but again I started watching a lot of YouTube videos and I came across a lot of reviews on the boy bag and I started really liking the edgy look of it. At this point, most people had the black boy bag because it was still relatively new and I absolutely love the black boys. But I just thought I have so many black bags in my collection. I mean, three out of my four Chanel bags were black. So I thought I'm going to go a color. I thought if I find the perfect colored boy bag, I'm just going to grab it. So... This was closer to Christmas. This is 2017 Cuba collection. The sales associate that helped me with the Chevron Mini, she actually sent me a message and she told me that they got a few different colors in the boy bag in the medium size and I really wanted the old medium size. So I went into the boutique and checked out a few different colors. When I saw this gray color, I thought I don't have a gray bag in my collection and gray for the most part for me is quite a neutral color and I actually really love 
of how rich this gray is so I decided to pick it up and I absolutely love how this ruthenium hardware really complements the gray color. So with the boy bags they are single flap so they fit quite a bit and I always store all my chains inside the bag but when you open it up there is one slip pocket there and it's just one big compartment. I absolutely love this baby pink color detail on the interior. Anyway, so I've had this bag for about two years now and it's been wearing really well. This is my go-to bag when I want to feel extra edgy and on trend. It is also in the lambskin, but I actually don't see any wear and tear at all. And I've used it quite a lot. So I do think that the lambskin holds up really quite well contrary to popular belief that it is really high maintenance and it scratches up really easy. So I've been very happy with all my lambskin bags. And the next bag I purchased was about a year later. So this I bought last year at the end of last year and it is none other than my beloved Coco handle bag. I've actually done a full review on this bag recently so I will leave a link to that video below and I'm gonna link it up here as well but it is one of my favorite bags in my collection and I do go into detail why I think this is such a fantastic bag in that video so I'm not gonna repeat a lot of things. This is actually in the small size in the black caviar leather with gold hardware and it has the burgundy lizard handle which I love because it adds a little bit of detail to the bag and it it has the Mona Lisa back pocket as well and it's got the same CC turn lock the same as all the classic flaps and when you open it up it's actually got quite good organization in this it's also got a shoulder strap as well so you can use this bag as a top handle bag and you can also use this one as a shoulder bag as well so I absolutely love how versatile this bag is. It looks really classic, but at the same time with the right outfit, when you actually wear it on the shoulder, it can look quite casual and it can look quite young as well. And lastly, this is my last bag that I've added to my collection and it is the rectangular mini bag in the color purple and it is in the champagne gold hardware. So it is a very subtle gold. It's not as yellow as the classic gold and it is in the lamb skin. So I only purchased this last week. I haven't really been able to use it. I've used it a couple of times. So far, I'm really loving this and I actually can wear this with a lot of different colored outfits. It is the most perfect pop of color and it actually fits quite a bit as well. And again, just quickly going through the bag, you've got the CC turn lock there, the back pocket there. And when you open it up again, it's just got the one large compartment that and then a slip pocket and a zipper pocket and the chain length on this bag is slightly longer than the chain length on the square minis so this bag is more suited as a crossbody bag for my height but if you are taller I'm sure that you can wear it on the side as well the reason I picked up this bag is because I thought all of my Chanel bags are really neutral in color and I really really was dying for a pop of color and because the Chanel classic bags and the boy bags and they're all quite pricey, I thought for a pop of color, I may not use it as much as the neutral colors. So I didn't want to spend too much on a pop of color bag. And at the same time, when a very colorful bag is quite big, that's a little bit too much for me. So this mini size in this color was just the most perfect bag to complete my collection. So that's everything in my Chanel handbag collection as it stands now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to know a little bit more about any of these bags and if you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments below. I will be more than happy to get to them. As always, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye guys.